Ready. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 with Luckless Lovelocks. And there's something I need you guys to know about my friend, Luckless Lovelocks. Uh, he is not a uh, morning person, per se. Uh, we are recording at 10.44 a.m., which is very early for him. This is Okay, it's not very early. Okay. It's early. Okay. okay. But I had to wake up at 9. Fine. What That's time early. do you usually wake up? 11. So this is pretty early to be recording <laughs> before your natural wake-up time. All this to say, uh, if you guys ever are watching these videos, and you're like, man, Luckless sure sounds like he... <laughs> <laughs> doesn't sleep ever. There's a good chance that's happening. Yeah, there's a good chance. <laughs> I'm curious to know if you guys have even noticed that I'm I'm like I sat completely out of it. I probably haven't noticed this. Have you guys ever noticed that Luckless sounds completely out of it? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> uh, we've got some cool stuff on the agenda today. The first thing is this book. So um, when we found this cellar back in the day, it was uh, a Wednesday. Back in the day, that's a Dane Cook reference. I don't, if I, don't, I don't know if that was it actually a Wednesday. Well, if anybody will know that, we searched that? a cellar. You know who Dane Cook is, uh, and we found the ancient tomb with like a mouth on it, right? Tome. And, tome. Sorry. And uh, the owner of this cellar was like a necromancer, and so we found our way down into the uh, tunnels by dropping into a well. And then we found this gem to unlock it. And uh, we're going to do yes, that sir. now. So Luckless and is going to do that. Yeah, I don't really know how it works. Do I read the book? I I don't know. Uh, let's. Oh, there we go. I'm reading it. I'm in. Oh, it's going to tell me to insert the gem. Okay, okay, okay. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. I'm really curious about Only this. Only an oval recess in the I'm cover's I'm going to put mouth. your lizard testicle in there. What? <laughs> Yeah, this is the, try to this is the, the book, pre but the longer you stare, 11 a.m. humor. <laughs> eyes draw. Curious. Why don't you take a closer look? Huh. I'll observe from back here. Here we go. I like that we're in like this really narrow hallway. <laughs> yeah, well. what if, bro? What if it summons <laughs> okay. like a billion skeletons? Place the amethyst in the slot on the book's cover. What were you going to say? No, it's because it's a necromancer book, right? So hey, like that's what I was thinking too. That's why you should heal, but whatever. I have half health. I can become a bear. Who cares, you know? Yeah. Get in there. Open the book? Absolutely. We're coming this far. Sterian doesn't like it. The book's pull is Did he not irresistible. Approve? Yeah. Okay. You feel changed, bettered for having opened it. Suddenly you are capable of anything. Felling mountains, hmm. darkening suns, conversing with the dead. Glyphs shift gently before your eyes. Words slip into your mind, onto your lips, forming words you don't understand. And something is trying to reply. Oh, cool. Whoa, okay. Uh, one second. Uh, guidance. <laughs> Gu gu guidance. And I Bless. might be able to give you, um, my special boost as well, once we're in there. Back to Carlock. Turn to the next page. Now, hold on. I'm going to... Oh, we have a couple things down here. Elixir of Heroism. Gain 10 temporary hit points and become blessed. So, hold okay. on a second. What are some That's of these new, things? That's new, isn't it? Yeah. So, I have this, um, yeah, resistance thing. Um, so, we have bless. We have this resistance to make a target more resistance to spell effects and conditions. So throw these all in there. Absolutely. Everything. Oh, we can only use one resistance, right? Yeah. So bless yeah. and that elixir of heroism. Might as well. What does, uh, hold on, what does mm. bless do? 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. So this is a saving throw situation. That's what's yeah. happening, right? I don't think I could double bless, so you can save that. Hold on. 
You so you don't want to use the heroism? Well, that's only going to give me ten temporary hit points. Oh right, because, because you're already, already blessed. blessed. So you can't, I don't think you can double blast unless yep. it's some different type of bless. I, I don't know. I'm going. Sure, good read. Good read. Oh my god. We need big rolls here. We're not getting them. Ooh boy. Yeah, oh, we're no. we're using an inspiration. Absolutely. Go for it. I'm making the call. Is okay, a, blow. It, you got like a 50-50. <sighs> that was a COVID blow. You know what I mean? Like I was like, you don't want to blow on everyone's face. Yeah, I need to take a shower now. <laughs> <laughs> People don't blow out candles anymore, man. Nice. There we go. God, we're going to be out of inspiration at some point and really regret this. No, we're going to get one here for sure. Okay. The symbols dart beneath your eyes, warping and twisting. Your head throbs, but you almost understand. How is Karlak understanding that she's the dumbest? Oh my god, dude. So it sounds like you're gonna you're gonna gain like um the, the talk to dead ability or something, right? That's what you it sounds like. You already have that though. Yeah, I know, so like eh. But go for it. Keep going. Let's do it! Fifteen? Hold on a sec. Hold on. I gotta leave. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Can you- Don't you have owl or something? Yeah, but I have to leave the conversation. It's not giving- So, I don't think this is like an ability check, per se. This is all about saving throws. All of the bonuses are oh, for, yeah, for yeah, saving yeah, yeah, throws. Oh, yeah, 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 saving throws. You're right, you're right. You're That's right, why right. I can't- I can't yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so- Yeah. Just get a good roll, man. It's easy. Just roll a good dice here. Okay. He didn't blow it! Okay. So, um... How bad do we want to get into this book? Wow. Wow. <laughs> We're done here, dude. We're not using the last one. You're done. Shit. And you're never Shit. rolling dice again. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> You can feel them uh oh, this could be really bad. Mind. Maybe we destroy the book now? Into your soul. You feel claws moving Oh god, what shadows. if it just kills you? They pull at you, dragging ah! you closer. Whoa. Oh, I could do it again. <laughs> you could try it again, or you can force the book close. And yeah, you see on the left how it, it says saving throws, so we should have caught that a little earlier. Oh. Up to you, man. This is your endeavor. I trust you. I feel you. like it's going to be like if I fail the the turning another page, it's going to do something permanently awful to my character. It's possible. But who cares? Like, it's this is all up to you, man. Oh, my it's God. It's 20. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, well, let's think about this. Mathematically, you've gotten a bunch of really bad rolls. No, you've got a bunch of really bad rolls. Let me blow on the dice. You ready? Nailed yes! it. Yes! The blow! Wow. You're a good blower. Uh, can I come over to your place this weekend? The glyphs. Not I'm busy. Branding your mind with strange runes. You see time rewritten, fate undone, your future thrumming with power. Okay. The book snaps closed. You've seen too much. What profane knowledge is now seared inside of you, you should never have known. Carlac's a necromancer now. Yeah, so... Carlac received Whispers, whispers of, madness. of Madness. Disadvantage on wisdom checks. Okay, well that seems not great. It is a curse. Probably because I failed that one. Time? Yeah, but did you gain any like abilities or anything? I don't I don't know. Do you have any new abilities um, in your bar? Speaking of bar, while Luckless looks, um I had somebody uh, say like I was using a bunch of space on the screen and I can get that's a little distracting. I'm gonna try to operate with some of the filters for a bit here, um, and see how that feels. I do you have speak with the dead. On Carlac? Because that's new, so right? I guess I guess I got that. Uh huh. And but I don't know if that was worth it. Like, yeah, I don't know if that curse lasts forever or not. 
thought it'd be kind of cooler than that. Forbidden knowledge? Oh. Speak with From Tai. From partially deciphering the necromancy of, of Tai, plus one bonus to wisdom saving throws and ability checks. There you go. We managed to read most of the book, absorbing some of its necromantic power, but it snapped shut before we could finish it. There must be a way to reach the end. Oh. Uh, I guess you could try with... Uh, Someone else? Yeah. Who has good wisdom? I have excellent wisdom, dude. Like, my wisdom is top-notch. Do you want to pass it to me? You want to try it too? Sure. Let's spend an hour reading this book. <laughs> yeah, throw it over here. Let's see what best, happens. Best episode ever. All right, I sent it. No, this is oh. this is cool. I thought I sent it. It's not moving. It's not moving. Why isn't it moving? Come on, man. You can do this. I'm dragging it over. Hold on. Let me let me try to move it. I I don't. Oh, I can't. I bet it's like. It's stuck. I think. Yeah, I bet it's locked to you. It says twisted binding, look away. Well, I can just right click and read it. I'm reading it. Oh, there you go. The book refuses to open. Oh. For you at least. It's refusing to open for me. So maybe I need I'm I need to take the next step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, should, yeah. should I read it again? I mean, see what happens, I guess. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh. Oh boy. You've seen much of the book, but its most powerful secrets are guarded key. by okay. indecipherable okay. glyphs. Okay. Without a key, they may be locked away forever. Okay. Cool. Another book. Uh, so there's a journal update. We made it to the final page of the tome, but it's indecipherable. We need to find a way to read it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's um. Let's go. Shalaleo. Shalaleo. It's immune to fire. Doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so we have been in here. This is uh, yes. the melting furnace that we saw. This is below the blighted village. This is in the... A yeah, okay, this is underneath the area we fought. Yeah. I, I remember this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. someone mentioned something about a... Oh, this is a totally... Okay, okay, I remember this. We jumped down to here. I burned, yeah. like, the webs and we jumped down. Okay, exactly. this is actually a different area than I expected. Yeah, okay. thought this was going to be um, in that guy's workshop. No, I think that's across the way there. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, do you think we need to look for those, like, a cipher somewhere in this area? Or do you think that's that would be something we find elsewhere? I, I have no idea, man. Yeah, I have no idea either. I mean, I guess we could quickly look in that other, in that guy's lab. Yeah, go See across there something. and I'll, I'll come meet you. I'm just looking for gold in the camp supplies. There was a... Wait, there's a lever in here. Oh, pull that. It's by the door. I don't know if it's just a lock, but... I'm yeah, someone mentioned something about a lever that we missed. Well, oh, we missed a lever? Yeah, I know. <laughs> All it did was lock the door, it looked like, but then... Oh, okay. I can just leave, so it's not a big deal. Wow. You used an old key. Well, maybe I did. Oh, I probably did. <laughs> I probably used it on the locked door. Got it. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. Where, where was the entrance to this place? Uh, it's back here. Um, behind the bar. Oh, right, right, right. There it is. It's on the, it's on the map. So we're looking for, like, a cipher. Oh, there's... Yeah, there's another... Did you see another lever? Yes, there is another lever over here. I saw it pop up, but no, I don't see it. I saw it too. Yeah, right here. Uh, that just opened this wall. Remember, because this was uh, down. Bye. Oh, this is much better. All right, now the real game begins. <laughs> so let's take a oh. look through here. If we don't find it, I mean, we don't find it, but I guess we want to look for documents or a book or... There was some books that we found, but they, I assume they would have applied. Right, right, right. Exactly. Automatically. I'll check the outsides. There's the empty gilded chest there, but that didn't have anything. Wooden desk has some shit on it, but nothing I can read. Um, okay. There's like this back room. Oh yeah, this is where the this is where we found the book. So, okay. You, you, we have to have the thing in our inventory, though. 
What do you mean? It, maybe like we did find the cipher, but it's not in our inventory, so it's not like automatically applying. Uh, could be, but I, we I think we would remember if we found like a a cipher thing. Yeah. A is for Azuth and other gods. I'll check this. I think I got all these books. That is not a cipher. <laughs> it just moved the chest. What the hell? This could also just be something that, you know, we have to find later. Find later, yeah. There's clearly <laughs> so, nothing Some of the here. things, like, it, it's kind of, like, pushing us forward, right? It's like, go to Baldur's Gate to do the next thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Let's just check over on this side. Oh, here's a healer's log. That's probably not going to be it, but... Oh, this is just about this, the patients, um, where we learned about those different um, methods. Hmm. And we can go back here, I guess. Well, since the YouTube comments is our uh, memory, which is generally really bad for both of us, let us know if uh, yeah. you think we missed something, guys. Maybe, maybe not. We don't know. Okay, um, let's move on. Let's go to the Underdark, right? That's our plan. Hell yeah. We should probably do a uh, let's so let's go to the Underdark and we'll we'll do a long rest there. Yeah. Good idea. Now, do we want to bring Halson because on one hand from a story perspective, I think it makes a lot of sense he wants to be there. On the other hand, uh, our party's pretty good. I don't know if two druids is the way. So I think we got a good thing going on. The I guess I would bring uh, Gale if anyone, like a, a powerful mage. In but... replacement of who though? Like Asterion yeah, puts out know. a ton of damage. Karlak puts out a ton of damage. Um, yeah, and it's a tank. We need. We got the the healing, and you know, Shadowheart's kind of the one where I'm like, what is she adding? She gives us bless yeah. at the start. Sure, her heal is very minor. We could just use potions. Um. I don't know. It's kind of your call on that because she's yours. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with her for now. Oh, did you go back? I hold on. I I, I hit leave camp. Or I hit go to camp instead of what I wanted, and then I got an update for Wizard of Waterdeep. Gale's condition has worsened again. He requires us to give him another magical item in order to absorb the weave, and that's fine. I have some, so we can do that. Okay. Uh, hey, did you know that Asterion is a vampire? Yes. The journal just told me. For real? That's weird. Okay. Do you want me to talk to Gale and give him another thing? Do it. All right, I'll do it. Or you just let him die. Look at these like feeling old times as these. There's peace to be found in the stillness as evening draws in. I used to while away many hours just like these with my companion. Though in far comfier surrounds. She preferred it when we were alone. Curled up before a crackling hearth with some ancient esoteric tome between us. Ink glinting in the firelight. <laughs> He's talking I'm about sure you've noticed this, but there's like a reverb, eh? In yes. the case, I like it. Yeah, I've noticed actually in some areas there's reverb when there probably shouldn't be, but whatever. Um, I also like that they're kind of, because we're not, we're not using Gale. Mm -hmm. But we're feeding him these magical items, so it's like... Should we keep him around? You know, it's kind of creating that dilemma in our minds. Yeah, yeah. It's I this I was just gonna say like this is one of my favorite games of all time already. Like it's just so cool and like I don't replay a lot of games, but I could see like in a year I would replay this as something totally different and feel like, you know, I would I would like side with the uh, goblin leaders and stuff and like just go totally evil. Well, well quote unquote sure. evil. Yeah, sure. Or just like just to try the other options because I feel like there's just so much. Uh, Odd also told me I really this makes me want to play D and D, and I was like, yes. Yeah, it does. Sometime. He's talking about his cat. I'm pretty sure. By a Geron's lost nose. No. Or not. Tara is not any cat. Yes. She's a Tressum. Given your confusion, I'm guessing you've never met one. They're brilliant creatures. Fine company for any self-respecting wizard. Should be proud to see me keeping such fine company. The savior of those poor tieflings, no less. And I've given her precious little to be proud of recently. After I was afflicted with my condition, I locked myself in my tower for an entire year. It was inconsolable. 
wallowing in my self-inflicted tragedy. I've given up on myself, but Tara never did. It was her encouragement, her research that led me to my treatment. Once we knew that magically infused items were the key, she went out to find them for me. She saved my life. She has a good heart. You should recognize the same in your actions here. I'm sure she'd approve of me lending myself to your efforts. It sounds like yeah. she died. Yeah, I was like, where is she? Um, what is Tara like? You remind me of her somewhat. An expression you both share. When she gives in to her more feline qualities. A mouse trapped beneath her paw. Wish she were here for me to make a formal introduction. But I would never ask her to undertake such a journey. She's safer at home. Besides, oh, okay. she was always telling me I needed to spread my wings, so to speak. Find mortal friends instead of hanging onto Mistress coattails. So that's what I'm doing. I hope. And Mistra is... Uh, do you remember who Mistra is? Nope. He talked about her before, I think. Mistra's like... Like he follows her or something like that. I don't know. Uh, she does sound like a fine animal I'd be honored to know. One I'd be honored to know. I hope you never meet. Oh, sure. I love you. So long as you don't rub her belly. <laughs> she hates it when anyone does that. Okay, odd. Mental note. Don't do that. Okay? If we ever meet her. Yeah, I mean, he clearly just said that. Okay. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Both of these are kind of leaning towards that. Yeah. I'm not yeah, into yeah, romancing yeah. him. What are, you are like the most flirty character. Yeah, I know, but I've I've, I've been shut down recently, so I'm feeling like a little bit <laughs> oh, self conscious, yeah, a little vulnerable. Yeah. Not as much as I hate talking about cats. Is there nothing else in your mind? Not an animal lover. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> the druid strikes again. So perfect. Your finer qualities are remarkably plentiful. Wow. Suffice it to say. I think rather a lot of you. And there aren't many on this plane who I'd give such high praise. So someone mentioned in the comment section that their their headcanon is that you're a fallen druid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it just worked out in a weird way. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I'm flattered. Is your good opinion so hard to come by? One doesn't become the most powerful archmage in Waterdeep and lover to the goddess of magic herself by having low standards. Okay, I think that's. I assure you, when I tell someone they're wonderful, Mistra. Yeah. I mean it. And you are wonderful. So he was her partner. My God. Man. Uh, thirsty town over here. Thirsty town, yeah. Do I, water, I do I just barely water as, deep? Do I I want to be friends? I, I don't want I'm not I'm not romantically interested in him because I barely trust the guy right now. Yeah. Um. Okay. You're not so bad yourself, though. You're usually more erudite. Ah, wine is to wit as meat is to to. Oh, I can't bloody remember it. <laughs> there I go then, proving your point. Perhaps we'd better leave it at that. My Good. eloquent tongue isn't worthy of your ear at present. With my condition as volatile as it is, I fear any undue... excitement may tip it over the edge. <laughs> so to speak. Go. Enjoy your evening. Nothing better for the heart than a good night's rest. And mine is gladdened to know I'll have the pleasure of your company again come morning. I'm a little surprised he didn't ask me... Oh, he's got... Uh, oh, yeah. He's got arcane hunger. He has disadvantage on constitution saving throws. How do we feed him? I don't know. I'm going to talk to him one more time. Come on, then. Mm. Don't leave me in suspense. How are you feeling? No errant tentacles? No sudden cravings for a more cerebral diet? Hmm. <laughs> uh, no signs of seromorphosis taking effect, if that's your concern. I was rather more curious to know what benefits the tadpole might oh, have okay. bestowed. Okay. No doubt the benefits of your change in diet will become apparent soon enough. Was there another matter you wish to discuss? Is he commenting on you using the tadpoles? I exactly, guess? yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Um, okay, so now I can give him this. I could also ask him how he feels about having a vampire in the camp. Uh, I could tell him about my memories being shrouded in darkness. We got a lot of options here. That's funny, because for me it just says continue. Oh, weird. 
Uh, okay. Um, my memories before the nautiloid are shrouded in darkness. Memory loss isn't usually a symptom of ceramorphosis. If it is, they've forgotten to write it down in any text I've read on the subject. Then again, our case isn't exactly usual. Perhaps whatever's causing our tadpoles to remain in stasis has also affected your mind. I don't think so. Ceramorphosis takes place. All trace of your former self will be subsumed into the Mind Flayer's hive. So, to still be here, if I might forgetful, still a win in my book. Okay. Oh, um, I have an artifact you, you want. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? Yep. Okay, so we were gonna give him, I think, the robe of summer. Grants resistance to cold damage, 10 AC. Yeah, take it. Thank you. His journal's updated as well. God, I love so, this. So it is progressing his quest. It's not just to save him. Yeah. It is a strange experience. Each time anew, I kind of lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart but this doesn't feel quite right i mean it never feels right but it relieves this doesn't relieve hmm. oh. mm. maybe it's heartburn <laughs> uh is there anything i can do to help you you do plenty for me more than you realize but this cannot be remedied. <clears throat> the magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle. The fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. Hmm. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was too. A great deal of trouble indeed. He's gonna want something uber powerful, right? I, I'm all, I'm all almost wondering if it's um, based on like the rarity of the item that we give Maybe. him. I think it's just gonna keep progressing to stronger. He's gonna need stronger and stronger stuff. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, like drugs. We gave Kale another magical item, but this time the weave inside wasn't quite as effective at stabilizing his condition. He seems only mildly concerned about that. For now, we should keep looking for any suitable items for the next time he calls on us. All right. Okay. Anybody else in here that wants to talk or no? Are we good? I'm just going to talk to Will. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you, you're interested in him, eh? Oh, yeah. Well met. Ah, Okay. Uh, tell me, Will, how did you become, uh, how did you come to be the Blade of Frontiers? My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the Cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. Mm. What act could be finer than saving a life? You must have felt proud. Proud? No. Angry. Angry at the monsters preying on innocence. Angry at the so-called good gods for tolerating the cruelty of the evil. Angry at myself that it took so long for me to see the coast suffering. The frontiers demanded a blade, and so I heeded. And before that? Baldur's Gate, born and raised, the only son of a single father. He wanted one life for me. I chose another. We haven't spoken since I left the city. A classic drama, <laughs> a staunch father and his rebellious son. Better heard from the bard's lips than mine. Oh, can I uh, talk about something quick? Speaking of bards, sure. Um, someone on Twitter very adamantly coming at me about Volo not being a bard. 
And uh, I should know this because he sent me a wiki link to some D&D thing. Volo was a big character in D&D, apparently. Um, didn't mean to offend any bards out there, you know? Um, but yeah, I guess Volo's not a bard, so carry on. But he sings and writes songs. He's not a bard, okay? Dude, you Part should- time bard. You should know this. Um, what do you think of the illithid potential the dream visitor spoke of? I think that unknowable powers come with unknowable consequences. I can't say I'm not curious. But once you take an illithid by the talon, there's no telling how deep into the abyss it might drag you. It's right, Odd. Yeah, I think I'm three deep now. Ooh. Oh, right, 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 right. I think we did this before. Did we? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to move on because I'm not right. interested in pursuing that. What else is on your mind? All right. Bye. Okay. So, uh, let's rest. Rest up and hit the uh, under dark. The, the underwears. So we're not going to bring Halson. Is what you're saying. Nah. Okay. Maybe when we get to the tower. Right. Yeah. That would make more sense, I guess. Okay, no dreams, no nothing. See you later. Oh, I feel fresh. This is beautiful. Do you? Yeah. You put you put a, put a fresh pair of undies on? No, I, I never change them. <laughs> <laughs> what is Did, this? I don't know what this like ray of light coming in is. But you could attack this little dummy thing there. Yeah, there's a dummy. And it puts me right into the light. Oh, here's an oil barrel if you want to pick this up. And here, too. Yeah, okay. And uh, here, three. Just don't stand too close. Right, yeah. So now I remember in early access that this area caused um, a lot of trouble. Yes. Like th this initial area, we had a big fight. I don't recall exactly hmm. what there caused it. Well, there's that guy. Oh yeah, there's a guy. The there. Minotaur. Oh, he's getting, he's attacked. getting attacked. Damn. Oh damn! He's trying to get in. Let him, let him uh, get destroyed. Yeah. Holy frick! Whoa, dude! Is he dead yet? Like that definitely did not happen. No, that Before. definitely did not happen. Okay. More effort than a pit of spice. Now, credit where it's due. I do have a lever here. I bet you that opens yeah. that that door. Yeah. Do you want to pull it? Oh, he shot it. Look at you. Yeah, we oh, there's another torch up here. I'm Do you good. want to kill yourself with it? I'm good. Now, the problem is... There's another oil barrel. I don't know how many you want. I can only carry two. Okay. So the problem with this is... Uh, how do we get around that without getting destroyed? Uh, I would assume that also disables it, but... Oh, <laughs> you think? Yeah. Cause, Why don't you go out there and find out? Well, so let's look at this for a second. You see these, like, rays of light coming from the things that were shooting him, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like those are still on. And if I open this, I'm not seeing that they're turned off. Are you? I was just looking at, there's, like, a logbook over here. Yeah. No, they're still on. So... Maybe we'll see something if we uh, go out a little bit? Okay. I'm not getting any, like, perception checks or anything. Yeah, same. Um, I also can't, like, click on these. Are you just gonna, like... So maybe separate your characters? And send, like, somebody just to kind of... I'll sneak. Pussy foot up there? Yeah. I'm watching you. Huh. Oh, God. Did you do Turn that? Turn base mode. I turned it on, yeah. Okay. In case I get, like, blown up. Yeah, smart. Okay, keep going. They might not act until, like, you know, um, environment turn or something. I think we're good. You know, either it's because I'm sneaking or... 
Now just run with Shadowheart. Maybe we're fine. Maybe it's only shooting certain enemies or something. Yeah. Huh. Nope. Nope. You're on. Get back. So why is that? Maybe it's sneaking. Okay. It's sneaking, yeah. Not everyone looks this good. Okay. I assume. Weird. Very weird. I can't those those minotaurs aren't very, or minotaurs aren't very sneaky. Okay. I'm going to try sneaking. We're fine down here. That is so weird, hey? Like Okay. Breathe deep and move. Nice. Now what? Dragon egg mushroom. Oh, Ayo. Hey, Rocky crevice. Oh, I'm going in, buddy. I, I got I this. A yeah. I'm a cat. Put your torch away first. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, so I actually didn't <laughs> put my torch away. Uh, but whatever. Oh, it just oh. goes back. It's a little uh, shortcut. Oh, yeah, a little broken wall there. So that would have been a way around this. I guess we didn't see that uh, on the way over there. No, but like even so, we can't all get through here. So does that matter? Should mind my staff. A rotten carrot. Okay. Staff of Alchemist the Alchemist fire. There's a journal that I picked up. Can you read that? There's another journal over here as well. Uh, it's of the High Initiate Jerus. It's pretty long. Okay, well, you know, take a take a gander and see if there's anything yeah. that would be useful. I have a, an ancient Selenite journal over here as well. So there's just like an army of drow, apparently, that was coming to the gate. Okay. I'll see it's if... It's just talking about the different fights. I know the High Initiate's making a plan. He'll get us out of this. We're making a stand. Moon Maiden Fair, lend us your light to guide us home in dark of night to keep us on the path of right, ever burning, ever. It's cut off, but it probably means bright. The last line of the prayer succumbs to blurring as if stained by something wet. Huh. Okay. Well. Yeah, they're just saying they collapsed the tunnel behind them. Went through the gate. It's not telling saying his boss is a fool. Okay, well, let's just keep exploring here. We've got, um... Obviously a big fight out here. Oh, yeah. We have the whole Githyanki uh, crash thing I kind of forgot about. Mm -hmm. We're going to do that after, I guess? Sure. Isn't this going to take us to... Yeah, it's, it's like we have a few options, right? We could do the... Watch out! There's a Minotaur there! Right there, buddy. Okay. Yeah, good eye. 117 so, HP. So, like, we could kill him, right? We, I'm pretty confident we could kill him, but do you want to, like, avoid him, or what do you think we do here? I'm easy. Well, I know that, but... <laughs> Everyone always says that to me. Easy like Sunday morning. There's something interesting here. Fowler Aluve. Oh, a sword in the stone. Yeah, yeah, right? That looks kind of cool. I want that. Okay, go for it. Anything? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Slender Sorry, my bad. Drow blade it's impales okay. the stone Strength. before you, keeping a silent vigil. Mmm, I could consume that potion. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. And I can probably buff you as well. I don't know if I can, con I guess I can leave and consume it. Right. Um, I wonder Elixir if they're of hill giant strength. So um, I don't know if I'm able to cast my stuff when I'm in like cat form, but we'll see. Slender drow Are you still a cat? Impales mm -hmm. the stone before you. Okay, so I've got plus three from strength, plus two from the elixir. Hold on. I need 15. So you need guidance I've got, here? I've got guidance. Now, hold on. Hold, oh, I yeah, can't. Yeah, I'm holding. I can't leave once you're in the rolling screen, unfortunately. So I'm not able to give you my my uh, buff here. Anyways, okay. so good luck. Let's go. 
20. It's about time. I don't like how this the the 20 and the one look too like similar. You're with yeah. 10 people for the blade. But that's that's with beautiful, dude. That is beautiful. Oh man. From the stone. Hell yeah. I thought for sure there would be more to this. I mean, I just have a sweet sword. It's possible that because you rolled a natural 20 like that pulls yeah, it, it's right? a critical success. So, can you describe the sword for us? Uh, yeah, it's the Failor Al Aluve. Yeah, 7 to 16 damage. Um, melody. What does that mean? The sword hums in anticipation, ready to burst into maddening shrieks or bolstering song. Oh, so... Pummel strike, lacerate, and rush attack. This almost seems like a bard thing. Bard weapon, yeah. Oh, Which, weapon enchantment plus one as well. Yeah, that's nice. I think that's a good weapon for you, no? Yeah, it's it's. Uh, I don't think it does more damage. It's actually less damage. It's it's all but slashing. But it's one handed. Yeah, it's one handed. Whoops. It's uh one handed, <laughs> so you could put on. Are you playing music? <laughs> no, it's an alarm. Uh, okay. So you could put on a shield or something, but I don't know if that benefits you. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the axe. Does someone else want to use the sword? Hmm. Interesting. Uh. I don't know. So I'm not proficient with it. If I look through Gales, maybe maybe uh, Shadowheart can use it. Okay, um, Asterion can use it. Yeah. Hold on. Like he's got this dagger right now. So oh, Shadowheart's gonna use it. Why though? We're rarely yeah, like melee attacking with her. Okay, sure. I'll I'll send it over. See if it helps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's worth trying. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is cool. Five to fourteen. Right. Oh yeah, I think this is I think this is cool. Okay, nice, so, dude. What that was awesome. Yeah, yeah. No time to rest. What a surprise. Okay. We have to kind of figure out where we're going down here, I guess. For now we're just checking things out. We can go this way. Down below. Mm hmm We could maybe jump across here. Picking up these crystals. Why? I don't know. Okay. Alchemy ingredients? Okay, I'm following you. Yeah, I don't know if we can get there. There's a path down here. Yep. Light on my feet. Or the Minotaur. Oh, oh, oh careful. Known to cause confusion. Everybody There's just runs. Hey yo, what the frick? Okay, oh, so it was that confusion. little Yeah, I'm confused. I didn't even see it before you set it off. So it's this Timask. Uh, so hit it with. Uh, actually, Asterion could do this. Back up yeah, a bit. Yeah. That. That's what we need to do. Activates it. Yeah, yeah. I think it's dead though. I oh, sprouting Timask. There's spores. Spores. Okay. Yeah, and so these we can, we can walk by that though. These do smaller amounts. Okay, so we want to keep an eye out for that, I guess. Do you want to fight the Minotaur? I kind of want to. We could go fight the Minotaur. Sure. Let's do it. Okay. Let me get out of this st stupid cat form. Uh. Oh, shoot. Oh, I got knocked down. What? How? There's something in the ground. I don't... Okay. It went through here. There's... Oh! There's like there's a... There's a thing that like charges uh, at us. Yeah, you oh, remember? Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. So, okay. So we might fight that too is what you're saying. Oh, yeah. Do you want me to meow? I can distract... Um, I can get enemies to like follow me maybe. So I could draw it out closer towards us. Or even maybe draw it towards that gate. Oh, what if I tried that? Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's funny. Okay, so hold on. See if it works. We gotta... Um, okay, <laughs> let's try something. Uh, put your guys into sneak and go back through, yeah. back through the gate. To walk past those traps, hopefully. Let's get going. And then... Uh, when you're back in there, close the gate. <laughs> gotcha. And I'm gonna try and see how this distract works on the Minotaur. I don't see him anymore, unfortunately. 
It's so hard to click on. How much farther can I go? Oops. Okay. Oh my god, it just immediately threw me into battle. Yo. Uh, I'm coming? No, 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 hold on. I'm gonna... Okay. Yeah, I guess you better come. Okay. Yeah, come over here. God damn it. And there's two Minotaurs at 117 health each. Don't forget a Syrian too. What the hell? What happened? It's just opening and closing. I can't tell if it's open or closed because the... It's closed now? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. I see what you mean. It's the, the animation is so slow and it's wonky for me, so I can't tell if it's open or closed. There we go. Okay, I'm sneaking over. Can unsneak at the bottom there. Actually, I should maybe oh, sneak sorry. around these guys with Asterion. So you're in combat, right? Yeah. Also, hold on. We have rapport spores. Affected creatures can communicate telepathically with one another. The frick? Now they're okay. gone. They're they're fading. Broken bones. Must have fallen. Okay. So I'm walking up. I'm walking up. Couple things. I think I might actually use a, a hamstring shot here to slow them, but actually maybe not. Maybe I'll just cast my um. I can cast my spike growth to slow them. Okay. So hold on. Let me do this first. Sure. I need to get a little closer. Nice one. Okay, so now I am going to jump at them and then attack. Okay. Because they have so much health, I think I might go wolf form so we can do the crit follow-ups and stuff. Okay. But you're not going to attack this turn, right? No, not with the druid, but I do have a Sterian here, so I could I could do a... Uh... I don't know if I can get up here, actually. Don't forget to look at the environment to see if there's anything you can use. Yeah, there's not, really. Like... This can this do anything? I I don't I don't know. Poison. Oh, good call. There you go. So what? these guys are um, resistant to slashing and bludgeoning. Okay, I got piercing. So that's good. Oh, it's because he's wearing an amulet that he has slashing resistance. Oh, neat. I'm gonna do a, yeah. a range sneak attack here, and I'll use uh. Uh, do they have any fire or lightning or anything resistance? Nope, just the slashing and bludgeoning. Ooh, arrow. Oh, actually, bludgeoning damage against this entity is doubled. Sorry, they're actually, um, you want to hit them with bludgeoning damage. Yeah, I don't have that as an arrow. I if I have a weapon. So check this out. Let's see if this works. Should I just switch to... Ah, uh, Okay. So I used a, an arrow of Roaring Thunder to uh, mm -hmm. potentially knock him back. And I was hoping that I could knock him back so we'd have to walk through these spikes more. But uh, okay. it didn't appear to go that way. I'm going to rehide. And that's going to be okay. about it for my two guys. I'm going to whack him. Whack away. Reckless attack! I missed. Now, are we blessed? Did you bless? or you? Oh, you just have... No. She's not she even... Hasn't, she hasn't gone yet. Okay. So I think, look at all this damage. I think what we could have done differently here is uh, you could have snuck with Shadowheart because they were both facing away. And instead of just walking into like initiation range, um, we could have cast a spell while hidden uh, to like work around the initiative stuff. Right. Anyway. I'm going to, I can't bless, not close enough. Um, let me do, uh, invoke duplicity. Okay. 
So that's and... a, that's basically a taunt. Like that's a a one hit taunt basically that they'll go for. Well, yeah. It also it also buffs attacks around her. Oh, okay. And I'll cast spiritual weapon as well. Great, next to them. Yeah, beautiful. That thing's there we go. relatively tanky too. Yeah, it's nice. And I Don't love hit it. me. Okay. Whoa. Uh -oh. Okay, so he is out of the spikes now, which is a bit concerning. Holy crap, they're tough. Yeah, dude. Okay, I'm gonna hit this Minotaur here, because he's lower. Okay. Big miss. Yeah, that blast would be real nice right about now. Um I just couldn't get close enough to No no I know I know everyone yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go exposing bite on this guy that's right in front of me. Can't so shove him. This is gonna be our target, okay? Okay. Okay, he's exposed now. Okay, I'm gonna frenzy. Do you need to do like a bonus action healing potion or something like that? That's my that's my bonus action to frenzy. And I'm attacking. Crit. Okay. The, these guys are like this is they're insanely strong here. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little concerned. <laughs> well, they have slashing damage resistance too. Do we have any type of control spells? Like I have sleep, but they have to be at 24 hit points or less. I have charm person. I don't know if they're considered humanoids though. Blade um, ward. I could uh, cast blade ward as well. Take only half uh, the damage from bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing attacks. And is that what they defense. do? Pretty sure, right? He's got. They've got axes, so that should be slashing. Or no, that's bludgeoning. Um. It's like a club. Yeah. Tough to say, I guess. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to think if there's anything I could do to make this happen. Um, there's really not, unfortunately. I'm going to hide. And just keep doing sneak attacks. I'll maybe do... Um, I could do a fire arrow. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I do have, so I have a bunch of scrolls too. Whole person again. Cash's hideous laughter, prone. Yeah, like stuff, prone stuff like laughter. that might be good. Yeah. Animal friendship, that's a beast. The fire stuff is all AOE, that which concerns me a little bit. So I might just take a, a sneak attack. Nice. Holy frick. 21 damage. Uh, okay, so that Minotaur needs to... We can't expose him anymore. So now I've just got... Nothing. Okay. How come it's I don't... a tough fight. How come I didn't get an action here with the Dark Urge? You know? I don't know. That's really weird. Huh. Didn't this happen before? Oh, but that was Oh, you know what? Surprise, I think. I wonder, okay. So when I hover on this exposing bite skill, it says two turns. So maybe maybe it's like Oh, it takes two turns? Creature is distracted. That's... The next Yeah, no. I think it lasts for two turns. I don't really understand. Yeah, no, I don't think I don't think there's actions that take two turns. Yeah, right? I'm just seeing if there's anything else where this is like, you know how you had that extra thing where it was like a different icon? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I clearly don't have an action, so. Oh, great webmaster bonus attack, right? Okay. Okay. I don't really know if I can help you here, man. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, he nice. the weapon. Okay, nice, good. nice. So, Karlak probably needs some heals. 
Mm -hmm. Um, tactician mode is no joke. This is like serious. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. So it's just her. It's her turn. I could throw potion of healing. I can cast cure wounds. Healing word. Uh, I can try. Can you bless us and do something else? Or no? Bless will be. Um, that's the action. So I could bless. Yeah, so I could bless, but I wouldn't be able to do a heal as well. What do you think? Look, we have our ogre horn if we're concerned. Oh. Yeah. We should use that, I think. Shouldn't we? I, I'd have to change back to. Um, that'll have to be on my turn, or I could, or I could maybe send it, send it Shadowheart to Shadowheart. Yeah, do it. Just feels a bit like. I don't know. Sound. I'm doing it. Okay. Uh, hopefully, they can hear it in the Underdark. I. I oh. Befuddled. Here they come. Let's go, boys! <laughs> All right. That's so cool. Okay, did that count as an action? No, I can still do everything, looks like. I think I... Hmm. And you, st you still have the horn. Yeah, I think we can use it whenever. No way. Maybe. That would be... That's massive, if true. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the uh, healing thing at her. Oh boy, <laughs> it should work this time, right? Uh, on the ground next to her. Nice, well there done, we well there done. We go. Uh, I can also do healing word. Be cool if you had like a regen spell. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna move up a little bit. Maybe I should move out of the way of the ogres. I don't know what they're gonna do. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna charge. Give him a path. <laughs> I'm gonna move out of the way. There we go. Okay, that was pretty good. I charged her. Also, nice. Okay. I'm gonna move. If I move, I take a attack of opportunity, though. So that would probably kill oh, the weapon. Shit. So I'm just gonna. I'm gonna attack this guy. I'm prone, dude. I can't do anything for two turns. Oh no! Critical miss. Way to go, spiritual weapon. Op. Yeah. Maybe there's like a day cooldown though, right? Like you have to rest before you can use the horn again. I guess we'll see after. Fowler Aluve, that sword. The sword hums in anticipation, ready to burst into maddening shrieks or bolstering songs. But like, what does that do for me? It's probably gonna buff us. Like a like a bard's tail would. Or bard's song. Like, maybe it'll enhance our attacks. Yeah, but can I afford to use an action on that right now? I think I got to try full, that. It's a full action? Yeah, I think I got to try nah. that, like, out of combat. Yeah, maybe maybe for a bonus action. There's this, too, like, this chasm here. Can you not be trying to throw a guy or something? I, they were too heavy for me to push. I actually I checked that. Okay. Well, Even actually, strength. My, uh, my wolf is back up, so... Good. Uh, since I don't have the exposing bite anymore, I actually I won't have any uh, wild shape charges because I went cat as well. So mm -hmm. I think I just have to attack, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, bite his butt. You're doing piercing damage, so it doesn't get reduced. Yeah. It's the same That's with good, my sneak attacks. Now they see me. Ah, uh, he they could see me here. Uh. So I'm not going to get a sneak attack here. Oh. Even with, even though we're flank, like we're engaged. Yep. No, you, I do. do. You get the, I can. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. See, it's working this time. Yes, because we have I have advantage because he's engaged, right? That's exactly. the the deal. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay. Okay. Life comes easy these days. And I can't disengage. I can't jump. I can't. I don't need to heal him. 
Let's go. Here, here comes the big boy. Oh, That's no. the wrong way. Oh, no. He's going to kill, like, all the other people, isn't he? I'm worried that he's going to attract everything. <laughs> I love it. Maybe this is... Maybe it's not as OP as we thought, eh? Well, it could also be the path is blocked. Like, I don't know. <laughs> okay, reckless attack on this guy. Because... Oh, I think that guy, hold on a second. What? When they came in, they had a, a check against befuddled. Affected entity can't control its actions and wanders around without direction. Oh yeah, you're right. But they made uh, saves against it, so... Bank is not befuddled, but the other two are. Yeah, so I don't know. That's funny. Okay, uh, I'm gonna whack him. Crit. Man, you just deal no damage. You deal no damage. <laughs> Can you, um, do you have a different weapon to fight these yeah. guys with? Well, they the thing is, is like, I could equip this club, which is bludgeoning, but it's six to nine damage, which I guess, I guess is going to be better, right? But they have bludgeoning resistance. Oh, no, no they no. don't. We do double damage, so let's, let's switch it up. Yeah, you should be bludgeoning. Can I equip it? Oh, it takes, uh, it takes an action to equip, so I'll have to do it next time. Okay. Or at least it's not letting me equip it right now. Okay, well. Befuddled. Hey, what's over here? Wow, dude. That, like, this damage output is oh, kind of insane. Oh, you, got, you got the disengage. That's good. Oh, nice. Did I do 19 damage? Looks like it. Yeah. Okay, so Shadow Heart's up. I could do the Bless now, but maybe it's too late in the game to do that. Um, um, you need to move her so she stops getting those charge attacks for one thing. Like, I can't charm. Just want to see if I can do... If you can get this Minotaur of... down to, like, um... Yeah, they're humanoids. I can't hold person, of course. If you can get this guy down to 24, I might be able to sleep him. I can use uh, Tasha's Hideous Laughter, but it's a 45% chance, so that's not really great. It's not really great, but what is it, what are the options, you know? What are the other options? Uh, just... I could bless, I could uh, inflict wounds, just do 3 to 30 damage. 3 to 30? Yeah. Yes? All but right. can you move back here? No, I have to touch them to do it. Huh. So okay. I can I can cast this and then I can use a potion to heal up a little bit. Or do you could use... Do you have a... Is your disengage a bonus action or a regular action? It's a regular action. Okay, okay. Let me see if I have a ranged spell that I can cast to you. 3 to 30 damage Bless is a you. lot, bro. I know. I muted that for the recording, but I guess, yeah, you hear me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanted to bless you, man. Thanks. What's wrong with that? Yeah, yeah, keep going. Yeah, I don't really have any really good... Okay, I have Scroll of Witch Bolt. I think I could use that. I'm going to use that from a distance. Okay, how much is that, though? 3 to 30 is huge. It's 1 to 12. No, it's not good range. enough. Okay, I'm going in. Do 3 to 30. If she falls, that's fine. Screw these guys. Wow! 30 freaking damage, baby! So you've had that the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, that's this fine. This is why it's... We, sometimes... You just let me play it out and figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Because you're, you, you'll, you'll you say like, Well, do, you don't want to go in close right yeah yeah that's, it's it's yeah it's my fault i'm not saying it's your fault i'm not saying that kind of sounds like it <laughs> all right oh yeah oh kill oh, steal man okay that's Whoa. actually great for me because it disengages the wolf well my man eight damage spiritual weapon getting in there okay now now, I think... Watch out for the acid. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna transform back. Cause I got some spells that I could use. I could cast another spike growth. I could, uh, entangle. That spike growth is really nice. But then you guys would be in it too, which is a problem. Entangled would give us, uh, advantage. I mean, we could move back and I can, like, throw stuff at him. I could just Moonbeam, too. We saw this was pretty good. Oh, yeah. Moonbeam's really good. Do that. Just looking at all my options. I don't have a, like, good knockback opportunity, really. Spikes are gone behind him now. 
I'm gonna try this moonbeam, I guess. What do you what do you say when you cast it? What's your Moonbeam? Moonbeam! Moonbeam! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, okay that you need to work on that one. It's a concentration spell, I guess, so that's yeah, fine. Def definitely focused hard on that. So So just make sure, remember to double check to make sure the next spell you cast. You can only cast concentration. one concentration spell at a time, and their concentration might be broken when they take damage. Yeah. So I could still cast Shillelagh for my weapon. It's not concentration? No. It's just a bonus action. Man, that looks pretty cool. Okay. Shillelagh! Okay. Lee? I just want to say, half the people commented that it's Shillelagh. Half the and half the people commented that it's Shillelagh. Half so. the people are wrong. Maybe both of them are wrong. You should have Holy, we got some big damage from some people here. Let's go, Fank. Dude, where is... I, I just want to go down here. Oh, he's, he's... Fank is going for the flank. He's, he's, he's fanking. fanking. He's fanking. By the time he gets there, the dude's going to be dead. Yeah, well, at least we learned a little bit about these guys. I think they took that befuddled from a spore, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think that's a uh, summon thing. So if it takes me an action to equip this, I won't. I could do a bonus action attack. If you would have done it, yeah, like, I think I should have done it right away. Yeah, basically. I thought about it too, and I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's okay. <gasps> that, that's the kind of stuff that will make a big difference on this difficulty. But we're gonna be fine here. We're we're getting out of this easy. <laughs> Nice. Critical hit, baby. See now, damage. Why is Who your, says I don't do damage? Why is your damage so much higher now? Because I rolled a higher roll, I guess. Damage roll 11 this time. Uh, and last time? Ooh, maybe this guy doesn't have the uh, amulet. He doesn't. Okay, so he has no the resistances. The other guy had an amulet that yeah. gave him resistance to slashing, but yeah. made bludgeoning. Uh, strong bludgeoning damage stronger for us. Yeah, this cool. guy doesn't have that. Yeah, now we know. Okay, chalk's coming in. See, I should have attacked the other guy. I just I looked at the one and assumed the other guy had it. Too. <gasps> See ya. Moonbeam, bro got moonbeamed. Oh, they're talking. Yeah. No more than a few pecks. I'm afraid this spread is a bargain. Is that an end? Whoa. Oh. Okay, hold on. Oh. A spicier deal. <laughs> Shadow Heart. Oh, I love this, dude. I think. 500? I honestly think pay the 500 bucks. Do we have enough? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You've got like a thousand something. Yeah, but do I need to send it? Like. You know Good question. Because I don't want to say inventory? we'll pay and then he's like, you don't have that. And you freaking. I can trade with him. Eats us. Dude's got Scroll of Blur. Dried Pork Sausage. The Diary of Lump the Enlightened. Should we get his diary? Yeah. Three gold. Yeah, buy it. <laughs> yeah, see, Shadowheart has 43 gold. I'm going to split. Uh, I think it gave it to me to spend because the diary costs 43 gold. Okay, yeah, maybe it, maybe it does pull. But yeah, I bought his <laughs> diary from him. Um, okay. Yeah, send me. Do you want me to click on it and just see what it says? It's not letting me split my gold for some reason. Hold on. Just sure. just slow down a second, yeah. I just want to make sure we do this. Or we this. could just keep lying to them. Yeah, they'll eventually turn on us, dude. Come we don't want to piss off these three guys. When we call them into a big fight, and then they're like, hey, you screwed us last time? Like, I don't think that's the way. But then we just will be like, oh, we'll give you 2,000 next time. I don't I don't, I don't. don't think they're going to be that dumb. I, I bet you they are. Well, I'd rather spend the 500 gold, because we're rolling in cash right now. Okay. Good. Yeah. A fine offer. We are back in business. Yeah, what else are we going to spend 500 you know on? Nothing right now, but who knows. Sound the horn when you are ready. Okay, so that's that's excellent. Uh, let's clean up our mess. Oh, that took the edge off. The back in my sails. There's the amulet, the unworthy. And does it operate the same on us? Should. So who's going to uh, wear that? Did I pick it up? Well, we'll figure it out. Well, let's wrap up the episode here, and we'll come back. Um, we will... We've already short-rested, so I think that's fine. 
We'll carry on through the Underdark. We'll figure out the amulet and go from there. Sound good? Sounds good. That, that was, was fun. fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. We'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. Bye, all.